right. Hi, class. Um, here is the video that I was talking about for the people who were having trouble selecting their kayak. And I decided to follow the book for this one. Um, just so that those of you who have been following along in the book will be able to make sense of the video. Um, so the book says to start out with the quick selection tool. So I'm going to grab the quick selection tool. And it said to change the size to about 5. So I'm just going to type in 5 here. And that's up in the options panel. Or options bar, rather. And then basically with quick selection, you paint on the selection. And it wanted you to select the kayak just the paint job but with quick selection I can't help but select let's see I'm trying just to get the paint job but it's still selecting a lot of other parts like didn't want you to select the hardware or the seat um, let's see the problem with quick selection is it's just for grabbing a large portion of the selection to make life easier and then you're supposed to go in with your other selection tools to do something a bit more detailed. So I'm just going to try to grab the whole kayak actually at this point because it's easier than trying not to get everything. Um, and then you go back in with your magic wand tool and lasso tools and whatever else you want to use um, and then start unselecting the hardware because for the first selection, they wanted you not to make a selection of the hardware. So I'm going to subtract, remember subtract, up in the options bar. Um, subtract from my selection using my magic wand tool to select the black parts. Um, i got to zoom in here. Minus, 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 minus from my selection. And that's already minus. There we go, get rid of that. And this is really tedious, as you can see. So for those of you who thought that there was an easier way, not like this. It's just tedious for everyone who's going to be doing it this way. Um, to make a good selection, it does take time. And I want to add to down here, I didn't quite select the bottom layer of the kayak. So I'm just taking my wand again and adding to the selection down here. And then, let's see. Now one quick, the one thing that I talked about in the book was using quick selection. And it's in the toolbar at the very, very bottom, there's this little icon that looks a lot like a layer mask and it acts a lot like a layer mask. If I click on it, it shows me that my everything I've selected so far as it is like in in regular mode but then everything that's not selected turns red and the way it works is you use a paintbrush um, so I'm gonna grab a paintbrush make sure it's the brush tool and not any of the other ones um, right under the little icon that looks like a band-aid and in the quick mask you use just black and white just like a layer mask and I'm gonna make my brush bigger here we go oops that is my alarm for cooking <laughs> my phone did not ring at least um let's see okay so brush so basically you paint, can paint on the selection or off the selection so I'm just kind of painting off the selection, like so. And my brush is soft, so it gives kind of a, a feathered edge. Okay, like so. And then I did too much at the top, so I'm going to switch to the white brush. Here we go. Oh, white reveals. Okay, no. I'm switching to the black brush. Switch. That little toggle, that little bent arrow is toggles back and forth between the black and the white. And I'm not actually painting black and white. I'm using the black and white paint to add to my selection or subtract from my selection. And this is a difficult concept. You just kind of have to do it in order to understand, to really get the feel for this. Because it's, it's counterintuitive. It's like, why am I painting with black and white? Well, in this mode, you're not really painting with black and white. 